Hello everyone, PN Farming here. We're back on Calmston Farm. Give the pup some food. As per usual. Don't know where he is though. Nowhere to be seen today. But we got some work to do today. What do we have in store? Well, I'm going to see how much. Okay, we got two and a half pallets full by the looks of it. No, not quite half, but yeah. Got a little bit. I'm going to see how much we have with the chickens, how many eggs. Not even a pallet yet. <laughs> Is it filling up? Eighty two pieces of eggs, so okay. How much food do they got? Lots of food for now. Oh yeah, we only have 40. So that'll be good for a while. Sheepies are doing good. We should get a roller for this and then we can uh, fertilize it. Get another stage of fertilizer next time. It's ready to harvest, so we should get the tractor in here then and we should start start mowing we finished up up here oh I think I remember I thought I made it too but I didn't quite make it so we need to buy ourselves a, I don't know where it is exactly. I think it's in containers, but we need a jerry can. Can't remember if you buy it from here or if you have to. Maybe it's in containers and stuff. Pallets. Nope. Um, I know there is a jerry can that you can buy. I don't really want to buy a whole trailer. Would be nice if we could just get a tow rope and tow it. It won't be in here, but. Won't be in bales, I'm sure. Oh, maybe it's mods and DLC. You can find it in there. That might help. Yeah, we didn't quite make it back. It stopped recording for some reason. Right when I had uh, finished plowing and then when I tried to drive back. I didn't make it. Um, what is that? Four goodges dis to sell. Mila. Don't know. Not a language I speak. Um. Sure, I downloaded it. There is this. It's. 2400 bucks, so, and I don't really want to spend that. But I might have to. I can't find. Silos? It's going to be under there. Oh, 
not farmhouses for sure. There's the toolbox. Fertilize seeds. Hmm. Where is this thing? Well, I'm gonna hop in it and see if I can drive it by chance right now, but. Oh, I do have a little bit of fuel in there, okay. I don't remember filling it up that little bit, but there is a tiny little bit in there. Maybe it does that for you when you save the game or something. Log back in. Didn't need much, but there we go. Go fill it up. Nice that we have a fuel gauge on this tractor again. Where are we going to park this? It's too wide to go anywhere. Park it in front of that junk there, maybe. I think I'll back it up here. That seems like a good enough spot. Right in the bush. Because I believe our little tractor doesn't have enough power. I'm going to just check that. It would be nice to run it. So how much? 75? And we need 180. So yeah, definitely not. So we'll... Uh, We'll hook it up to this. That's okay. At least it's wider than the tractor. This is the one you have to unfold to park it. A little bit weird, but oh well. Go we'll run over some sheep with our tractor now. Do I even fit in this gate? <laughs> Ooh, just gonna fit. There we go. start here work away this way this just dime there we go what I should have done is just put it in the window Oh, I guess I don't have to with this, uh, the baler I got. That's right. So this one doesn't put it in windrows, this mower. But, yeah. So, yeah, I want to see if the grass works to uh oh didn't take that corner sharp enough if it works to just do the grass and then yeah we'll just stay over here here 
Because our windrower doesn't fit over there anyways. I guess what I might do is just make it... Move a couple bales out of the way, but make it all grass. And then if that doesn't work, I'll just... Borrow a neighbor's uh, silage or uh, bale, uh, whatever you call it. Uh, losing my train of thought. A bale wrapper. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll just uh, wrap those bales in silage and sell them. Because I won't be getting any cows for a while, so. Anyways, I will see you guys when I'm done the mowing. And when I start windrowing, I'll see you when I get the windrower in here. Reeve Derchi. Here we are, guys. We're back. We're starting to bale. See, I moved the uh, bales out of the way there so that we can put all the grass bales, or try the grass bale in there anyways. And yeah, we're off to the races here, bailing. I guess I could have mowed behind there because this isn't as wide as our, uh, um, what do you call it, the grass dryer, the, um, tether. Oh, just clipping that tree. Oh, man. Stinking tree. There we go. We missed it now. But yeah, this isn't as wide as that tether was, so wouldn't have nearly as much issues. This is going behind there anyway, so. Oh, man. What is with me today? Ah, going way too much. Missing a little bit of grass there. That's okay. There we go. Yeah, we'll make some bales here. Hoping that I don't have to... Or I'm hoping they can use them. Just makes this a little bit easier. I was thinking about get horses, so the tether isn't going to go complete waste, because we'll use the hay for the horses. We do that, so... Just a couple horses so we can ride them around and stuff. Don't need much. There we go. This thing uses a lot of power. Using all the power of our tractor. did upgrade it to have more power as well, I believe, so. Should go even easier than it did with the old setup. But in reality, with these tires, you probably need more power just to <laughs> drive around with these tires. Pass done. First bale is about to fall off, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's. Oh, no, second one. There's one over there. I thought this was our first one about to fall off. We're getting pretty good then. It's 
a neighbor watching. Come on. Back it up, back it up. Not sure why that seems so difficult right now. Yeah, it is nice having it's a decent size uh, grass field here. You're getting definitely enough bales. Look, we got four left still over there, so five left actually. So yeah, that's pretty good. I do say so myself. We'll just shut it off. We'll be back up. See if that helps. There we go. Pretty sure this just acts as a wind roar. Doesn't cut the grass as well. I might want to look into that. If it cuts the grass, I might have wasted my time cutting that grass. Wasted my money on a mower. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it just picks it up. It's kind of hard to tell, but... Yeah, hopefully you guys had all had a good week this past week. It's, uh... I'm getting all caught up on my videos and uh, putting them out at the right times now again, so that's been nice. And uh, hopefully this video is a little bit better. My mic is recording. I made sure this time before <laughs> I started that was kind of a pain in the ass trying to do that, and it did not sound right recording through uh, my video editor. I don't know why it sounds so much different. I use the same mic, the same, well, the same headset. I use the mic on my headphones. It works really good through the um, OBS, so. Um, so yeah, I never really thought about it. I just recorded it and voiceover and tried to edit it in there and a little bit yeah it just sounded like shit to me I don't know didn't get many views either compared to usual so most people must not have liked it but oh well That's the worst part about bailing. The bales get in the way of your work. Couple more passes here. We'll be finished. I can't even remember how many sheep I did get in here. I feel like it was 60 or something. Yeah, you just stay there. Don't worry, I won't hit you. <laughs> I'll hit you though. Run you right over. <laughs> Bugs me a little bit they they don't move out of the way sometimes, but yeah, it's not a big deal. So I have the same issue with my uh, other video, the Maple Farms. It's one of my other favorite maps. So what's the spot here? Yeah, you mow in the. Cow, or I mow in the cow field there anyways and uh, 
just end up running over all the cows all the time. I think we have enough. We can get a roller and roll this grass and we'll get a little bit better productivity out of it. Not sure how worthwhile it is. Maybe I'll have to actually do a test light on that difference between the grass fully fertilized and all that. I already know that or I'm pretty sure you can't. I think it was FS15 was the last time that you could lime the grass and it actually did something. I believe you have to till it up on here to get it to take the lime in. And it just makes it not worth it when it says needs lime. I might have to do a test on that just to be sure. Maybe I'll post a video of that too when I if I do do that. But pretty busy lately with the wife going back to work and I've had a had a very rough end of the week last week, to say the least. My uh wife worked on Thursday evening and so I was at home with all the kids by myself and the oldest ones just fighting like you wouldn't believe and screaming and I ended up getting very mad and I was trying to get our youngest one into bed and they were screaming and fighting and so he wouldn't go to sleep uh, well, no Baylor here. Which was very unfortunate. And, uh, yeah, I got pretty mad at them. Ended up breaking his door, pushing it the wrong way. and Or not the door, but just the frame. I guess, um, just the piece, the door stop for the, in the frame door jam I guess is what they would call it I think I don't know all those terms exactly but yeah so I ended up having to fix that it just pulled it off of the nail so it wasn't a big deal but I was told the wife that uh, it's just I was so frustrated it was that or one of the kids <laughs> I mean I don't think I would actually hit one of the kids like that but that's how I felt at that point. Then it uh, seems to be when I get really mad like that, my uh, Meniere's disease kind of takes over a little bit. I don't know if it has something to do with blood pressure. They can't link it to blood pressure, from my understanding. Why can't I unhook it in this state? I don't have to drop this. the heck and hooked it last time like this did I not what is going on there we go that's a little odd Yeah, there we go. I will. I think I'll go drop this weight off for the other tractor to use. Should have done that right away. And then I can move those bales out of the way in the field. Make it look better anyways. And there's no sheep right here. Maybe I'll pull in and Keep an eye on them. They won't leave. We'll drop this off right here. Back up. Make sure the sheep don't leave the pasture. 
in reality, that sheep would have ran away. And I would have been done before. They got the guts to go back anyways. <laughs> there we go, we'll go park this. You know what, maybe we'll, uh... I know I talked about it, taking on another plowing contract. Uh, we'll see what there is. Maybe I can start, get that started. Field 30 and field 16. So, field 30 is way over in the corner over there. Field 16 is just down the road. Okay. So it is the same fields as I was looking at before. There are supplies. Cotton, sugar beet, cheese, and wood. Yeah, we don't have any of those, so. Field 16, I think we'll accept that contract. And we'll go get our mower. Or not mower, what am I thinking here? Our plow, and we will go and do some plowing. Then we'll, well, he hired workers plowing. It'll probably take all night again, I won't. Not gonna show that all again, but while he is plowing, I am going to move all those bales out of the way. Oh yeah, we leave that gate open. I don't need to close it. Ooh, we're gonna take this guy out. Run him over too, I guess. <laughs> Shit, do we fit here? Whoa! Getting a little... A little wild there. Oh, we don't fit. We're gonna have to find a different way. There we go. Sorry, dude. Ran you over for no reason. I think I can go around, uh... Up by the cow there and get around go in front of the cow pasture there oops hopefully yeah we can go this way It's interesting. I don't know if you guys want me to do it. You should let me know. But, uh, the field leasing. I did it in my maple farms. And, uh, I mean, I'm leasing one of the grass fields in there. And I'm gonna play it realistically. Like, I'm not gonna. Especially if I do it on here, I'm not gonna lease it, harvest it, and then. Not release it anymore like take give it back and so then you only spend five grand or whatever and you get the harvest and that's just not realistic at all so oh are we gonna fit up here come on yeah we fit oh come on there we go we fit. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if we want to do that on here at all. I'm not sure what fields I would lease. Not, none at this point, I don't think. But. Um, where did we get in? I think it's on the other end. Or we can get in right here, can't we?
We're stuck. Come on. Oh. Hate these signs. Not even stuck with the plow so much, just the tractor. Now we're stuck with the plow. Oh man, come on. Okay. There we go. <laughs> we'll direct the tractor, but we'll pretend it didn't happen. So yeah, we'll get this guy going up here. You can see which ways the rows go, so be a little bit easier. Then we will go move all the bales out of the way. an entrance up here. I can see it. Probably should have used it, but... There, we'll get them going right here. That's not much in between each turnaround, but oh well. It works. So yeah, well I... Move those out of the way. The other bales, I uh, filled up the water on the sheep already, so don't need to worry about that. Though I want to see how much food they do have for sure. Well, I guess I see in here a little easier. So yeah, they are full on food, forty-five thousand, and. 18,000 liters of water is what they actually take. Okay. So, yeah, that definitely increased a lot now. Anyways, guys, I am going to do a little bit of a time lapse of uh, picking up all these bales for you. Skip ahead here. See you when I'm done. bale. Now if these work, I'll probably end up selling the hay. I think. Until we get, uh, I might as well keep them until we get horses. I don't think we have to sell them, but. Anyways, oh, we're going to leave the weight here, I think, is what I was planning to do. It's going to take a drive down to the shop. See what we can get for a. Uh, where am I going to put this? Whoops. Just learning to drive. It's okay. 
Maybe I'll look before we head on down, but I wanted to get a roller. I don't know, see if anything's on sale. Sorry if I go a little bit slow here. Yeah, my eyes are a little bit twitchy, I guess. Can't remember. It's called stigmatis, stigmitis, or something like that. Stigmatisms? No, it's not a stigmatism, but I, uh, especially right after an attack, my veneers, I, uh, eyes twitch out really bad every so often, and yeah, it just makes it very hard to. Oh yeah, we definitely got that. This one's a huge one. It's only ten thousand more. I think I might go for that one. And a cedar. Oh. Okay. Um. I don't think we need the cedar on there. But I think we'll go for that. Let's go pick it up. There we go. Close the gate. And we're going to start rolling. So I only really got the frame rate drop in the... near the animal pens. There we go. I'm not going to worry about getting too, too close to the edge, so. Around those corners. Around that one, anyways. Oh, we just barely got enough power on this little tractor to pull this thing. Get a nice top view here. Oh, another hiccup. Yeah. I will finish this up and I'll just fast forward that and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Hey guys. How's it going? We're back. This is... Extremely satisfying job, so I thought I'd bring you guys back a little bit before I finish here. So you can just enjoy it and just something about when it changes the look completely like this. It's so satisfying. Probably one of the best things about farming here. Why we all love it. But yeah, that's uh It is something else. It's looks so much better. I was thinking just a few minutes ago here about uh this one you can add a cedar onto it, so I wonder if you're able to use this roller on the fields too or not. I don't think so. But I'm not 100% sure, so when I'm done here, I think I'm going to head on over and just try it out, see if it does or not. Or I guess I didn't want to do that, I just wanted to lift it. There we go. Lowered. Almost forgot I had this one last little row here, so. Oh, that's so satisfying. Just goes from
being not so smooth, perfectly smooth looking. Changes the texture and the color, so. I think this makes it extra satisfying on that one. Yeah, we'll go try it out on the field real quick here. See if it rolls in the stones. It does have a little extra on this one, so maybe it will. Though we do have large stones still, so I'm not going to do the whole field because if we get a stone picker... then it's kind of useless anyways. But yeah, we'll give it a try here. Don't I have access to this on? Hey, it does work. Look at that. Their stones are disappearing. All of them, too. Uh, I don't... I guess we don't have any large stones so far by the looks of it, so... If that's the case, that's easy enough. Get rid of all the stones before we plant too, so... Even though we're a couple months away from planting... This tractor does have a little bit of a tough pull on this thing, but... It's doing the job really good, so... And it is getting rid of every stone. So I think that's what we'll do. I'm just going to check quick though. Use sales here. Don't remember seeing a stone picker. There is one. 14,000. Yeah, capacity though. If we want to get the larger capacity, that adds 11. So I'm going to make 25. Um, it's not very wide either. It does have a faster working speed than what we're working with right now. The other ones are a little bit better because they're wider. Don't see any of them on sale, but uh, ones that look like that. That one's nine meters working width. I don't. Yeah, sixty-two thousand dollars. So, and then you, whoa! I didn't know you can get that big of a capacity on them. That's way too. Oops. I usually go for the twenty-five, ten thousand, twenty-five thousand. So yeah, that'd be seventy-two thousand dollars for this one. Yeah. So we don't. No way. Yeah, two and a half is too narrow, so. We're just going to use this. This nice little tool. I didn't know that there is one that you could use in both the fields and the grasslands, so. That is definitely a huge bonus. Yeah, I was not looking forward to planting in this. And uh, the condition of my equipment dropping so quickly. There we go. Uh, oh, can't hire a worker. Okay, I have to do this manually then, I guess. So, uh, before I get going here, I wanted to check the prices, because if price of sorghum is at its highest, in December it says, so yeah, maybe I should be hauling that in. Mind you, i got to use the other tractor for that, I So 
so. That's a disappointment that I can't hire a worker for this. But yeah, we're gonna switch over to this tractor here. We're gonna fire our worker for now. Just gonna unhook. Leave that there. Getting that done, so. Not sure how much we have left. Oh, we're 19% done, so. Doing pretty good. Yeah, there we go. We'll go and haul in our sargum. Here we are, back with our first load. Oh, one more gate we gotta open. By the looks of it. Oh, it opens this way. Oops. I thought it opened the other way. <laughs> That's a strong gate to move my tractor and this load out of the way. Here we go, guys. First big profit we're going to get. So I'm going to look at this while it unloads because it'll take a few seconds. But 150 horsepower. That's 68,000. We'll have enough for that after we sell. 68,000. That one's 134. 116. 95 for 175 horsepower. So, but yeah, this. Where was it here? The ridge track. That would work good. Because yeah, we made $56,000 on 51,000 liters. How much was that? Where's the ridge of track? 68. We have enough right now. We have enough. And we're going to get the BKTs because they say they're better. And uh, no, we're not going to worry about twin tires. I think. Standard. Yeah, just standard. We could do a front loader attach around this. And we could use this in the... Get rid of our other tractor here eventually. Yeah, I might do that. Not right now though. Uh, main color, you can change the color on it. Do we want something totally outrageous? No, we're gonna have to pay for it, so. I'm just gonna leave it the same. And we will buy it. Let's buy it. There we go. I wonder if I can get him to drive. Set destination. Wonder if I can get him at least get see if I can get him down to here at least. And he's going. Okay. Let's see if that worker will do that just right. Not, not get stuck. I haven't tried it on this map at all yet. It saved me a little bit of time anyways. It's like a delivery in and of itself. So. And yeah, then I can get this guy back working in the field here. So. Maybe I should just see how he's doing right now. I can get him just to come right down. Right down here. And. Just like that. There we go. Island hook. Just pull through those bushes here. Didn't wreck them. Yeah, there we go. We will get this guy plowing. We go hole in the rest. 
Got ourselves a new tractor. This is exciting. Well, new to us. Save a lot of time here, that's for sure. Go. This works really good in this, though. Here we are, guys. Finally made it to the top almost an hour later. Well, 40 minutes, I think, is what it took me. <laughs> uh, that tractor had just enough power. It was going zero kilometers an hour the whole time. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I got to the top and didn't quite have enough to make it over that edge. And I had to get out and put on super strength and just give it just that little nudge not even a full meter and I hop back in and yeah good to go just couldn't get the wheels of the trailer over fairly good rest with this little thing I guess I should have got the duels and I would have made it up there with the tra extra traction yeah I just didn't have enough traction to get over I guess this is a a very big trailer for this so yeah there we go 30% done field 16 and we have $43,000 in the bank that is it's awesome we're actually starting to get somewhere still not not a whole lot, but yeah, we got ourselves three tractors now, so I could probably sell that little one if I put the front end loader on this this one. But I think we'll just keep it for now. I think having three tractors is going to be extremely handy, so I can get two hired workers and go do something myself too at times. I need to so we're only going to make $30,000 selling the other one not even 28 I think it was 28 or 30 yeah my memory's horrible can't remember oh man running over two more deer I think you can shut them off I'm going to have to look into that again they are a little bit as cool as I thought they were. They are kind of annoying because I always end up hitting them. And I'm not going to slow down to make sure I don't or anything, so. Yeah, I don't see deer that often anywhere. They're always only in the exact same place as they were. Always in the exact same place, so. Hey, you can toggle all wheel steering off. Front wheel steering. Okay. Crab steering. Oh yeah, that's the best. Oops. <laughs> Crab steering right. I think I'll just uh, put front wheel steering on for now. A little bit easier. I should have done that on the road already. Probably would have helped. Yeah, we're going to go here. We'll see how much it is to repair. Oh, only 22914 Okay. It's actually affordable. So, that's nice. Yeah, putting the duels on isn't a whole lot. I think I had the Hauer. Hauer? One. Yeah, the duels doesn't make it a whole lot wider, so that is. It's doable. I can mow with this thing. I can do all that. Yeah. For now, we don't need to do any of that. 
the good looking tractor. What I think I want to do, I think I'm going to finish off the day with this. I'm going to, well, I will let their uh, worker work till 8 o'clock here. Or, nah, 6 o'clock, we'll call it. My regular day. Uh, what did I want to do? Tools. I want to put a... Where are they? Pressure washer. Still pressure washer. Are they the same price? Oh, yeah, it's a lot cheaper. Definitely going with the still one. We can put it right... I'll put it right here. Then this side. How about that? Yeah. And I can wash my equipment now. Not that this is dirty. But I haven't washed any of my equipment yet. I know what I've been using on the maple farms is the insert key. You can, there's a quick wash feature that you can use on there. I've been using that on there. Am I going to have enough to wash that? No, not quite close enough. Okay, that's all right. What? Oh, I forgot to shut off my uh, super strength, I guess. There we go. We'll go park this. And then we will get in our roller. We'll make one pass back up. And then we'll shut down for the night, I think. We'll just put him in here. Close this door for the night. I also wanted to go close the door in the front, but, um, yeah. Keep going up here. Lights are coming on. Ah, you don't roll the, the stones in in reverse at all. I think I'll just make actually a whole pass around the field. Might be a good idea. I get the whole edge and then yeah, I got a little bit of room to turn around. And then yeah, there we are. Maybe we'll just leave this guy here. There we go. We'll leave him there for the night. Well, that's a good day's work in. I will go shut this guy down. Well, how much have we got? We have done 38, so I'm going to let him go until we're 40% done. Then I will shut him down for the night, so. Is that 40? Okay. Well, it didn't show me there. Well, there we go, guys. We are done. I hope you guys have a good week ahead of you. I'll uh, release a couple more of my time lapse videos. And, uh,. I will see you guys all next week. Later. Love you. Bye.